Well, hello everyone. This is just a quick little update. I'm trying to keep this under five minutes, but I did want to um, show you my tree collar that's doing a lot better um, than my previous video. And I'm gonna just show you a couple of new things that are growing in my garden. This is butter crisp lettuce that's uh, just starting to grow. Well, I'm really excited about my opal basil and also my Thai basil. And this is a new um, type of uh, basil that I'm growing this year. And I just wanted to show you how well my corn is doing. And I just got my Kentucky Wonder uh, beans in. So I'll be planting those. I wish I would have got them a little sooner, but that's okay. Hopefully they'll be able to, I'm gonna plant a few of those so I can uh, try out uh, Three Sister Garden. And that's my noodle beans coming up in the front here. And my burgundy okra seems to be doing really well. And uh, this was uh, recommended by Nicole from Super Sly Fox. I think that's how you say her um, YouTube name. But anyways, um, I'm gonna try these out. Hopefully um, I'll be able to get some nice burgundy okra. This is a Phyllis uh, blue pepper. And it actually has cute little peppers on it. I think they're the cutest little peppers ever. And my lemon cucumbers are growing, coming in nicely up this trellis. Now these are my circular raised beds that are new in my garden. And on the outer circle, I planted marigolds of various colors. And then I believe that's some lettuce on the inner uh, circle. And then on the farthest inner circle is corn. And that's Cherokee corn. It's a beautiful corn. I really pray that it turns out really well. It's multicolored. And then on the inner, um, in the middle there, are my sunflowers. And I do have some growth on my sunflowers, but it's really slow, so hopefully I'll be able to get some nice sunflowers growing right there in the middle of my circles. Now this type of planting I did on all my circular raised beds. Come over to this one, except for on this one, I believe that's bok choy coming in right there. And there's a different type of uh, corn. And these are, this is popcorn actually. I believe this is called strawberry popcorn. And then sunflowers, although my sunflowers has not germinated yet. So hopefully we'll get some germination on my sunflowers. Oh, when I'm growing my tomato plants, a couple of them are growing on these uh, tomato trellises, but then I have some of them growing on bamboo sticks. Well, I found these online and they're pretty cool and really easy to install. I actually use these also to hang some of my garlic. So they're multi-purpose. But anyways, um, you just take them and clamp them around your tomato. And it really doesn't um, put any pressure on the tomato or anything and they can slide up and down depending on where the next um, tomato branch is coming out. So that's pretty cool. So I love those. And they're reusable also. And you get a big bag of like this, about a hundred of them, for like five or six bucks. And I just planted a French breakfast radish right over here. So I guess that means I can start eating radishes for breakfast, right? So another interesting uh, vegetable that I'm planting this year are these Mexican cucumbers from uh, Baker's Creek. Now these are really tiny uh, cucumbers, like the shape of a watermelon, that you just pop in your mouth. And I thought this would be really cute to grow up this trellis. It's at the far end of my garden. And then back behind there, I'm gonna plant some flowers, uh, different types of flowers. Maybe some sunflowers or some lavender, maybe some uh, Black Eyed Susans, not sure, but uh, just gonna have some color growing, growing behind this uh, cucumber trellis. And like I said, I thought this would be very cute for my uh, grandkids to come and um, pick throughout the summer. And I also wanted to show you, I've been harvesting more of my garlic. Now this is not my elephant garlic. This is just my uh, soft neck uh, garlic. And um, so I'm really pleased with it. I'll probably harvest the rest maybe later on this weekend and maybe do a quick little video update of all my garlic. And another new plant in my garden is my eggplants. Now last year I did plant some eggplants by seed, but they did not do very well. So this year I'm trying at it again. Looks like some bugs did get to my seed before I even got the chance to plant them, but that's okay. Hopefully um, they'll do all right. Now I did do some companion gardening because peppers and eggplants 
are supposed to grow really well together. Then I have some calendula uh, growing in the middle, it hasn't come up yet. Then some sweet uh, margarine right here. And then I have some over at the end over there. More peppers um, over here. And another new plant that I added throughout some of my beds is some cinnamon basil. Now I never had cinnamon basil before, so hopefully it has a little cinnamon taste to it. That's why they call it cinnamon basil. So I'm not sure. So if anybody's had cinnamon basil, let me know. So my husband here is out to catch those white butterflies. My problem with it is, so far he's destroyed one pepper plant <laughs> and a bean plant. Oh yeah, and he pole. broke his uh, pole as well. Actually, the net. The net. So I guess we're gonna have to get a butterfly net then, right? Yeah. So here's my butterfly catcher, and I'm I'm thinking maybe I'd rather just uh, keep the butterflies and deal with that. <laughs> Wait for him to come up out of it while he's flying. Him okay, so don't hit my plant, whatever you do. Oh, see, I thought you were gonna I hit my him. plant. Well, guys, this is where I come every day to get away, do a little weeding plant some seeds. Gardening is so therapeutic. And I want to thank everyone for being subscribers. I love your comments and your suggestions. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and come along with me on my organic garden journey. Thank you so much.